Is dead? Should be. Senor Domino, why you killed that man? Ask him.
This is lower land, Loman. Here, grow most anything. I think the smaller ranchers will be interested in your proposition. Well, I'll talk to them. Put new life in this town, Mr. Harrington. Another wire for you about Domino, Sheriff. Killed himself another man for breakfast down in Santos. Bob Trangus. Number two. Two? Yeah. Last month, he wrapped a wooden overcoat around a fellow named Hames up in El Paso County. And they say he's got more notches on his gun than anybody. All right, Harry, don't go blabbing about something you don't know for sure. You better get on back to your clatterbug. Anyway, our hometown boy's making good in what he set out to do. Well, I hate to see this happen. But I can't say as a blame, Domino. Everybody in town seems to know who this Domino is, except me. Well, he, he left for Darrow before you ever settled here. Well, what is he, an outlaw? No, oh, no, no, he's always a wild kid. More than the rest, I guess, but never real bad. No, I've known him since he was five. When his folks built the Double Six Ranch in the upper end of the valley. The one with the Domino brand? Yep. That all belongs to Court Grand now. Oh, that's Domino's real name. He's the only one left? Yep. Yeah, after his mother died, Domino went off and joined the Confederates. Left his father all alone on the ranch. During the time he was away fighting, small bands of renegades were raiding and plundering ranches, stealing cattle and selling them to the blue and other graves. That's the whole reason that Domino is a gun hawker right today. There's no reason big enough to make a man take to the gun. Well, now, what would you have done if you'd come back from a war to find your ranch half ruined, your cattle all gone, and your father murdered? I'd have come to see you. Uh, that's what Domino did. And the look in his eyes and the way he talked was something terrible. There were five men in that raid. I was able to give him the names of four of them. Well, if you knew all this, why didn't you go after him yourself, Sheriff? I did, as far as my jurisdiction reached. But they got away across the border, and then they split up. Some of them have evidently wandered back. Two of them are sorry that they did. Well, how did you find out about these men? It was a Mexican lad by the name of Juan that was working on Domino's ranch at the time. It's the same boy that's playing the guitar over in Rosita's canteen now. The renegade shot him and left him for dead but he was able to give me their description. So from the wanted posters, we were able to identify four of them. But there was no wanted poster on the fifth one, so I don't know who he is. But wanted recognize him if you ever saw him again. Doesn't that make Domino a wanted man? To shoot down even a criminal in cold blood is murder. There's no murder about it. Up to now, he's killed in defense of his own life. And he's always been very careful. Well, I have no sympathy for this personal vendetta. But it's a good thing it's kept him away from Pradera. Why? He's a killer, no matter how you look at it. And there could never be a place for a man like that in our community. It could only lead to trouble. Well, he's had plenty of trouble. Up to now, he's been the hunter. But there's still three men to go. And it's my guess that they may be doing a little hunting of their own. And Domino don't even know who the fifth man is. If I'd been in that bedroll, huh? I wasn't gonna shoot you. No? Aiming at squirrels, maybe? No, that was just to keep you from shooting me in case you was to come awake. Yeah. Let's have a look at you. Who are you? Name's Drager. You working for a man named Ed Sandlin? He's 
you Domino? That's right. Then I work for Sandler. He sent me out here to find you. Before I found him, huh? No. When he heard what happened to Hames and Trankus, he figured you'd be picking on him next. But you can't get to him. He's got every road to town covered. I saw the men. That's why I built that fire to get one of you over here. Pretty cagey, aren't you? But no one was to gun you down. Ed ain't like that. He just wanted to get a message to you before you did something that would get yourself killed. What message? Well, Ed's an important man now, and he don't hold it against you for what you did to two of the old gang. And he wants you to know he had nothing to do with what happened to your folks. Nothing at all. He's sorry, and he wants to square things with you. How? I don't know. But he'll tell you himself. He, he wants you to ride into town tomorrow and meet him at his saloon. I got a better idea. I'll ride in tonight with you. I don't know what Sinon looks like. So you can introduce me. All right. But you got to believe what I told you about Ed. He's on the level. He says that until he squares things with you, his soul won't rest. That's where you're lying. What do you mean? Sinon's got no soul. Ain't sure you'll be here this late. Sandlin usually goes to bed early. Then we'll wake him up. I suppose you go in and find out. There ain't nothing to be afraid of. I told you how Ed feels. Well, I'll wait for him here. When he sees I'm not there, I'll be ready for him when he comes out. Give me a quick one, Art. I'm in a hurry. Stay put. When did you come in? How about Simon? Look, oh. he ain't here. Well, like I said, we're going Gonna have to roust him out. Get out the other end of the bar and stay there. Sandlin! So you're Domino. Glad you got here without making any mistakes. Mistakes can get a man killed. You're so right. 
You made a big one a couple of years ago. I admit it. I tried to stop those fellas. That's why I broke with them. Now I want to write things with you, like Drager told you. That's why I'm here. Maybe I can help you find Sam Beal. I know where Beal is. What about the fifth man? Fifth man? What's his name? You're not being polite. Maybe I should tell you something. You're in over your head. Hames and Trankers are amateurs alongside of Sam Beal. I'll worry about him when we meet. Who's the fifth one? He was the key man. Murder is his middle name, and he's fast. Where is he? Could have gone back to Kansas. I don't know. Or maybe he learned what you've done. Could be he's looking for you right now. What's he look like? You know him. If you see him. When you see him. Looks like our business is about over. It's too bad. Well, here's to your bad luck. Let's leave it the way it is.
wonder how many of my cattle it took to pay for this. You any idea, Beal? Who are you? How'd you get in here? You must have over a dozen investors in this layout. All like me. I ask you who you are. That's right, Beal. Padera, Double Six Ranch. Remember? Domino. Why didn't you know? And I thought you were smarter than Ed Sandlin. What about Sandlin? You killed him, too? Leaves just you and one more. You stretched your luck too far this time, Domino. You seem sure. I am sure. Even if you're lucky enough to get me, and I doubt that, you would never get off the ranch. Let's try it. Hmm. Anxious, huh? Let me tell you something, Domino. What I did during the war, I'm not making excuses for, and I'm not sorry for. You squirts from the north and south were blowing bugles and carrying flags. I was making money. That's a good thing I did. After the war, there wasn't a farm left you could grow an ear of corn on. But I got mine. And nobody's going to take it away from me. A real red-blooded American. You finished? No. There were plenty of gangs operating during that time. I was just one man and one gang. That's the one that murdered my father. When you raid a ranch, Domino, you go after the beef, not the people. You try to stay away from trouble. You can't stay away from it. Someone gets hurt. Now, you call that murder? What do you call it? Well, I guess this is the jumping-off place. Looks that way. It does do something for me, Marie, but I'd hate to name it. If the model goes with it, I'll buy it. What's the matter with it? She says it's too frilly. And silly. No, thanks. I'll stick to my old sunbonnet. Well, maybe you can do something with her, Mr. Harrington. Barb has been running this office so long, doing a man's work, thinking like a man, acting like a man. She's even beginning to look like one. I wish she'd look at one. Like you, Wade. You don't see the other man around, do you? At least not as handsome. Of course not. And uh, just what is it about me that attracts a handsome man like you, Mr. Harrington? Well, there are things too numerous to mention. I think at first it was the eyes. Tell me, where did you get those great big beautiful eyes? They came with my head. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
now that I got you in a mood, what have you worked on? About what? About what we've been arguing the past two weeks. Shipping costs on wheat. Yours is the only company that can freight it out of here for me. If and when you do have wheat to carry, the charges will be the same as I told you before. Don't you want me to make any money? That's one thing my father taught me when he was running the station. Barbara Allison, he said, don't ever make a business deal unless you can make some money. <laughs> and I bet you're a better businessman than he ever was. Oh, but the chance I'm offering you, you could become a shipping magnet. Maybe someday even buy out the company. But I don't want to buy out the company. I just want a good, steady job. Do you realize there are thousands of undeveloped acres around here all going to waste simply because the ranchers don't have the capital? All I'm doing is lending them the money for planting and equipment. Then I'll buy the wheat and ship it east over those... Littlefield freighter lines at company prices. <laughs> Pass. I'm on my way now to see some new sections. Why don't you leave this rat's nest for a while and ride along with me? Well, I... This stage will be in at 5 o'clock. You'll be back in plenty of time to unhitch the horse. And that's a thing I can do, too. Lucky horses. Oh. ranch brings back memories. I used to play here a lot when I was a little girl. My family were friends of the Garands. It's not the best soil in the world, but I still think I'll buy it. But this place belongs to Domino. I know. If you'd come back to work it after the war, you might have had an operating by now. Instead, he had to set off on that crazy vengeance campaign. He did what he felt was right. you approve of what he's done? No, but I know Domino, and he'll never sell the double six. Well, I wasn't planning on buying it from Domino. What are you trying to say, Wade? Have you heard from him recently? He hasn't written since he left last year. Well, I ran into Sheriff Travers this morning. Domino killed two more men of that bunch. Then his luck ran out. Oh, no, I can't believe that. Nobody could kill Domino. Well, he's human, isn't he? But are you sure? Well, reasonably so. You see, he was chased by some men. They know they wounded him rather badly. They lost him in the hills, and nobody's seen him since. But it isn't certain. Well, even a healthy man couldn't survive in that kind of wild country, and it's been weeks. Barbara, I know you were once Domino's girl. I've rather assumed her hoped for my own sake that it was over since he took the road he did yes it's over we would have been married but what's the good of talking about it now when vengeance consumes a man and becomes the most important thing in his life it's time he was forgotten i think i'll ride back into town i was going to stop by the owens place while i was out here you want to ride along with me no you go ahead i'll i'll see you tonight or tomorrow
last time we sung that together, you were wearing a calico with a big bow on it. Domino. Music woke me up. For a minute, I thought it was the old times. Everybody in the parlor and you at the organ. They told me you were dead, Domino. No, I couldn't die without seeing you first, could I? Yeah. They said you were shot. Oh, it was nothing. An old sheep herder found me and looked after me until I could travel. Got here sometime this morning. I was so beat, I fell in bed with my clothes on. Domino. Hmm? It's finished, isn't it? I mean, what you set out to do. It is finished, isn't it? And that's why you're home. We'll talk about it later. No, I want to talk about it now. It is finished, isn't it? I've got one more to go. I don't know what he looks like or anything about him. I came home to see if I could pick up a clue. I've got to finish it, Barbara. I made that promise. To whom? Your father? He's dead, Domino. Oh, let the law take care of the rest of it. I waited for the law once, remember? I thought maybe you'd come home to settle down. I will. Afterwards. I'll settle down and work the double six, just like we planned. Like we planned. Oh, we never planned this, Domino. I've got to get that last man. We never planned that you'd act and talk like a killer. That I'd always be waiting, wondering if you were dead or alive. Oh, no, we never planned that, Domino, never. I'm no criminal, Barbara. You are to a lot of people. I've heard the talk. What talk? That you've become a professional gunslinger. That you've killed a lot more men that nobody knows about. That really you're an outlaw. And it's more than revenge that drives you. It's Killing's gotten into your blood. <laughs> oh, no, Barbara. Folks here have known me all my life. They're my friends. Friends don't turn on you just like that. Don't they? Well, you walk down the street, Domino. You just walk down the street and then come back and tell me what they say. Barbara. seem a harsh wish, but I just assumed he never showed up. You think you can get a better deal on Domino's property from the court? <laughs> That's not it. There are lives he could upset. You afraid of Domino for some reason? Why should I be afraid of a man I've never met? Oh, I didn't mean anything physical. See, Domino always had a way with women, and he... Whatever your reason, you can forget your wish. Now, what are you going to do about it? No way I can stop him if he wants to come home. Hello, Cal. Mrs. Payton. Good to see you. Well, how are you, Court? Back for a visit? Oh, not exactly. Plan to stick around a while. How are the kids? Fine. Just fine. Well, so long, Court. Hello, 
on, Tom. Why, it's Domino. Say, you look it real well, son. Seems to surprise a lot of people. Well, there's a lot of news when a man gets as famous as you. But you had a job to do and you did it. Now you just put your shoulder to the wheel, boy, and make them all sit up and take notice. Thanks, Pop. How about a little credit? I uh, need some supplies. Go right in and help yourself, boy. And what you can't carry on your horse, I got a wagon out back. <laughs> Cigarro, and I know it is you. Only you can smoke such bad ones, amigo. So now, have a drink. Muchacha. Bring a bottle. Tequila, no? Tequila, yes. I hear the news that you're back in town. Uh, are you going to ranch, maybe? Maybe. Have you seen Rosita? Not yet. Where is she? Oh, she will be here muy pronto. Ay, amigo, we have thought of you so many times. And now, now we shall play for you what you always like to hear. I like that sad music you were just playing? <laughs> no. No, maybe I was thinking too much of the malos hombres who made us very unhappy. Forget it. The bad things I forget. Right, amigo. Not how you and your good father give to Juan Cortez a place to put his head and work to make a man feel he's good for something. No, I do not forget when you go to war and Rosita, she makes job for me. Now I'm close with two friends. Salute. Kindness. Buenas tardes. Hey, Rosita. Look who's here. Domino. Oh, Domino. <laughs> Hospodera's prettiest girl. Oh, my big domino. And such a big liar. You, you hero. Hero? Oh, to me you are. You kill those banditos and, and, and soon they will all be dead. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Rosita. Oh, um, saw this down in Mexico. Thought you might like it. Oh, domino, it's beautiful. Gracias. Oh, Juan, he, he never forgets. As for the comb, I have a present for you. Come on.
nice being home again, eh, Domino? Hello, Sheriff. Meant to drop in on you. Well, since you didn't, why, I come to see you. Oh, join me? No. How you been? Fine, fine. You, uh, quitting this chase you've been on? For a time. Till I find the fifth man. You got a line on him yet? No. No, and even if I did have, I don't think I'd tell you. You nearly lost your life in that last shooting. The odds against your survival are getting shorter each time. Why don't you quit while you're ahead? <laughs> you trying to scare me, Sheriff? No, no, no. Not you. Just thought maybe I could reason with you. Help you a little. Hey, maybe you can. I'd like to get the double six started again. There's a man named Harrington, finance and ranchers. Maybe you can put in a good word for me. Sure. Just remember, Domino, this last man is probably gunning for you right now. So be careful. You know, there's no defense against a bullet in the back, especially when you don't know who to watch for. He doesn't know what I look like either. How can you be sure? I'll see you. bad for a man's blood pressure. There is something wrong, no? No. The sheriff maybe said something? No, it's nothing. Juan, let's drink a little toast to Rosie. Como no, amigo. She's beautiful. I'll drink to that. I drink to me, too. <laughs> Senor! Pepe, where have you been? No place. I bet he's hungry. Oh, of course he's hungry. He is always hungry. Didn't I tell you to stay here and I would feed you? Why do you run away? Senor. Yeah, boy? Senor Domino, do you need a higher tan? Well, now I just might. Uh, what can you do? I can ride. I can shoot. I can lasso. I am all-around number one first-class vaquero. You are all-around number one full of lies. <laughs> Senorita Rosita wants me to live here. But this is no work for a man. I will work for you. Sounds good. You go to the kitchen and tell Alonso to fix you some supper. And after that, you'll work for me when I can find you. Where'd he come from? I found him outside a few days ago. He looked scared like I did once. Remember? Yeah. He has no family and he won't tell us where he's from. I could love him like my own. But the whole that one, oh, he, he comes and goes like the wind. He's <laughs> the crazy Mario again. Every time he gets drunk, he wants to shoot holes in my ceiling. Why, Domino? What is the matter? Nothing. Just being careful. I'll see you later. so full of life. Now, he tries to act gay, but his heart is not in it. Is it not possible this life he has fixed for himself, it is no good? Domino is a man with a strong will. Who can say he is wrong? Oh, Juanito. I am afraid he will lose Senorita Barbara. The only girl he has ever loved. And there is only one love in the life of one. For two years now, I have waited for the moment when... Yes? I, I talk too much. The night is cold. I 
think you better go in. All right. Mr. Harrington in? Busy. Sit down. <laughs> you know, that's the trouble with you ranchers. All you think about is cattle. Don't you know that that bench land between the Lobatos and the escarpment is public land? Public land? That's right. There'll be settlers filing on that, too. I intend to finance them through their first wheat crop, if necessary. This check should see you through your first year. I want wheat, Mr. Davis. Good wheat. Thanks, Mr. Harrington. The ranchers in this country sure owe you a heap of gratitude. Good luck, Davis. Thank you. You caught Garan. Should I say Domino? Come in. If you've come about alone on your ranch, I can't help you. Just like that, huh? Yep. What's wrong with the double six? Nothing is a cattle ranch. No good for wheat. That's all I'm interested in around Perdera. I'm sorry to hear that. I wish I could help. You just helped Ed Davis. His ranch is right below mine. The land's the same. Anything personal? Well, there are things about you not to my liking, but they haven't influenced what I've just said. Not even Barbara Ellison? Since you've been seeing her, you ought to know all about us. I do. And I gathered it was a thing of the past. I guess you'd like it that way. Now, just a minute. You came in here about a loan on your ranch. I tell you what. I'll buy you out if you leave Pradera. As for a loan, I'm a businessman, and you're not a good investment. You're thinking I might not be around to pay off, huh? The answer is yes. Even if you aren't shot, a man who's lived like you can never make a success of that ranch. Your presence could only bring unhappiness to people, such as Barbara. I don't think we have anything further to talk about. And I'm a busy man.
What's all this? We're sending some of this water down to these meadows for the wheat farmers. Tell your men to turn that stream back where it was. You must be Domino. Sorry, mister. This is public land. You got nothing more to say about it than anybody else. Who told you that? Mr. Harrington. He had a government survey made. He warned us you'd be around making trouble. Double Six has depended on this water ever since the ranch was built. So pack up and get out. Now, look, mister, we're just hired hands. No one of us is a gunfighter. Sure, you can make us bust down that dam. But Mr. Harrington will just have it rebuilt. So why don't you have it out with him, huh? Please, amigo. That is best. see him, because he isn't here. Where is he? If you want to wait. I said, where is he? Well, I, I think he went over to the freighter office. Surely you can't still be in love with Domino. You said yourself once it was all over. Wait, he hasn't a friend left and nowhere to turn. Well, isn't that his own doing? It's no good for you, Barbara. You gotta forget him. All right. There's nothing personal in turning me down on a double six, huh? Domino, please. What I got to tell you is plenty personal. Get that dam torn down on my ranch and get it down by tonight. That dam costs money. It's going to stay there. The water's going to be used in the lowlands for raising wheat. I don't care what it's going to be used for. You don't like it. You take your claim to the law. You get that dam torn down by tonight or wear a gun. What do you want to do, kill everybody? as he wants, Wade, or he'll kill you. Evening, Domino. Evening, Sheriff. Coffee or a drink? I'm no, making coffee. Coffee. Knowing you, you can only be here for one reason. That's right. There's nothing you can do about it. This is personal. So were the last four. Those men were criminals, and I was on your side then. I can't take the same stand here. Then tell them to get out. He won't do that. But you can. No, I can't. The way I understand it, Harrington offered to buy you out if you left town. That's right. Let me ask you something. What did I do wrong? I eliminated the men that killed my father. The same men the law was too lazy and too comfortable to go after. Now, all of a sudden, I'm an outlaw. No, Sheriff. If anybody leaves town, it'll be Harrington. And I don't care if he walks out or they carry him out. I can go along with everything you say, Domino. All except Harrington. If you kill this man, you'll regret it for the rest of your life. There's nothing more we can do, Barbara. I've talked myself out. Why don't you see Harrington again? Maybe for you, he'd change his mind. Oh, it's no use. I know his pride. As for Domino, you just had his answer. I'm afraid it's beyond us now. It's up to the Almighty to do as he sees fit. 
You, uh, you best stay inside there. What are you going to do? Something I haven't done in years. What's that? Pray. Too bad Harrington doesn't see things the way you do. As a matter of fact, he doesn't see them my way either. But Domino, think of all the people he's helped and the people he can still help. Think of the progress and the prosperity he can bring here. Is it fair for you to stop him? You're only one man, Domino. I happen to be the one he shoved. You heard what he said today. He can't buy me out, so he's going to make a dust bowl out of what's left of my ranch. If you kill him, you can't turn back. The whole country will hate you, and you'll be forced to live by the gun for the rest of your life. Maybe. But I'll tell you this much. We're going to find out. sitting at the stable all afternoon. I'm waiting for Juan. Where is he? At the ranch. I had a job for him. Bet you haven't eaten all day. Domino, what is the matter? Nothing, I think. You have so much bitterness in you. Is it because of Senorita Barbara? I'll get you some coffee. never seen him before. What happened? I uh, got playful with Rosita. Take him outside. The creek was not opened, amigo. Instead, men with rifles have come to guard it. Mr. Harrington left me no choice, huh? Don't you leave? Me and Buck seen him. Him? You sure? That's right. He dragged you here, then walked away. <laughs> he sure is a skinny guy to pack such a wallop. It was a bad mistake, boy. I'm gonna have to learn to use some manners. But, but I... Take him back to the barn. Thank you. 
around his mouth. Gives me the jeebies to hear a hurt man yell. be a shootout this morning in Perdera. And who do you suppose one of the gunmen is? Who? Oh, fella you're looking for. His name's Domino, the one that hit you. You sure? When's all this take place? In less than an hour. fight with Mr. Harrington. I will tell you who he is. We've known each other a long time, Juan. We practically grew up together. This is not the time to play games. Now, who is it? Only if you promise. You gotta tell me who it is. same man I dragged out of here last night. I told the sheriff and he notified for Concho to be on the lookout for him. Why didn't you tell me? Because you have killed enough, amigo. You start by looking for five men. Already you want to kill six. You're right. Everybody's right. I'm going home.
Domino was not going to fight you, Mr. Harrington. He was only going home. He could have shot me to ribbons when I called him. He'll be all right as soon as I get all those holes plugged up. Of course, you need a lot of attention from here on. You can move him over to my house. No. Take him to my place. I'll look after him.